Okay, everybody, we are doing the Talk It Out show. We have Joanne, Lydia, and Lauren, and we're getting ready to start our live show mm-hmm. on the radio that yeah. we have been doing for eight years. Mm-hmm. We're really happy about it. We've been doing good. We've been doing the radio show in our hometown, mm-hmm. and Lauren actually got us started on it, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. A wonderful woman that I love to argue with, <laughs> Joanne, she's the nice one of the bunch. Yeah. I'm the wild card and we normally have a Valerie. So we're getting ready to start. Okay, thank you. (laughs) Okay, and we're getting ready to start our live in just a few seconds. Welcome to the Talk It Out Show. I'm your host, Joanne. We would like to let you know that this show is for entertainment purposes only. If you want to look us up on Facebook or Twitter, look us up on Talk It Out Show. And if you want to go ahead and email us any of your questions, go ahead and email us at talkitoutshow at gmail.com. Now, if you need to physically send any of your questions to us, go ahead and send it to our P.O. Box at P.O. Box 901-043, Portland, Oregon, 97290. Well, as you know, I have my panel of lovely ladies. I'm going to introduce those lovely ladies to you. We have Lydia. Hello, 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 everyone. All right, we have our lovely Lauren. Hello, everyone. All right, you guys, happy Friday. I'm so glad to have you guys here. We're going to help one of our listeners out out there. All right, so this person says, I'm writing you because I need some clarity on how I should be feeling about my situation. I'd love to hear your perspective on it and uh, what some of your even new listeners say about this that might be in my shoes. I am 26 years old, a mother of a six-year-old. Me and the dad are good friends and co-parent well, been separated for four years. I've always been independent and responsible. I've also always been attracted to older men, especially the ones who look good for their age. I just love the maturity and stability in dating older. It gets me every time. My dilemma starts when I met this handsome older man. He's 42, dark, tall, has a great body. What attracts me to him is how motivated he is. He's charming, knows how to court a woman. The biggest plus was him not having any kids. We talked, dated for about a few months before we got intimate. After that, we continued dating and having sex on a regular basis. Everything is going good until, boom, I'm pregnant. At this point, we've been at it for about three to four months. At that time, I found out I was pregnant. We were still going casual, no pressure. When I told him he wasn't surprised, he wasn't ecstatic either. Left the decision up to me, continued the pregnancy or not. After about a week or two, I decided I was going to continue with it. He didn't mind. In fact, he was happy he was finally going to be a dad at his age. Still dating casually, a month after we found out we uh, we were pregnant, at this point we find out I'm about two months. I spend the night at his house. I was getting ready to leave, putting on my clothes, fixing my shoes, and he starts to look real nervous. He tells me he has to tell me something. At this point, my feelings for him are developed. We agreed on continuing to get to know each other. And we are now expecting. My first thought is, oh, this man has a wife, girl, over and baby, something. Still, I remain calm. I tell him to talk to me. I've never seen him nervous like that. That book begins with professing that he will never put me in harm's way and that he cares for me, how much he's worried about the pregnancy and that he can't hold it in any longer, blah, blah, blah. Spits out reluctantly that he's HSV. HIV. HSV, too. Oh, oh, oh. Which is, um, um, yeah, you know. For a couple of years now. I'm immediately shook. I started to cry. I asked him why he didn't tell me why I have unprotected sex with me knowing I'm clean. He tells me he was scared of what my reaction might be. I accept this response as true and I kind of feel bad even though I'm hurt, scared, and angry. Although some might go all out in a fury. I didn't. I told him that HSV does not define him as a person and that we could work around it. I've done an extensive amount of research and just because your partner is positive it doesn't mean you're automatically can. I accept it for what it is, but in hindsight, it's killing me that he never gave me the respect to tell me and gave me the choice of having sex with him beforehand. Up to that point, I never felt sick of any symptoms or anything because it's herpes. Fast forward. I'm now going in six months of my pregnancy. I find out about two weeks ago I am HBS2 positive. I'm heartbroken. I don't know the exact time of infection I could have been before or after the fact that he told me. The only reason I got the diagnosis now was because I went in for a regular checkup and the doctor asked for blood work. I continued to still show no symptoms. 
Things have been rocky lately. He's still trying to go casual when I'm stuck, feeling like he's the only guy in the world I could ever date anymore. I feel like I deserve it all from him. Yesterday we got into our first real heated argument. He tells me that he may never be able to give me what I'm looking for. Him falling in true love with me and giving me massages and doing what dads do for the pregnancy. He's lacking in the small stuff, the stuff that makes a woman feel good, like those things. He calls me his girlfriend, but I don't feel important enough to him. It's almost as if he's like, well, now she knows I don't really have to prove myself and I try to make her happy anymore. He blames it on the short amount of time we've known each other, which is understandable, but he did me dirty. I now have feelings for him and I'm pregnant with his first child. I don't think I'm wrong for feeling like he is selfish and manipulative. I still feel like he should be kissing the floor I walk on. I didn't deserve what he did at all, and I and I feel like I risked it all. What would you do? Disgust, sincerely feeling disgusted and entitled. <laughs> well, is it H H S V or H V S? Because she said both. She said H S V, which is H S V dash two, which is just I guess like herpes. Yeah, that's okay. herpes. And then um, one of them, she said HVS. That's, I didn't know if it was two different. I think it's HSV. She just, yeah. okay. maybe I read it wrong or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so it's just got different. herpes, basically. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're all right. She did say one way and then the other way. That is. Mm -hmm. But it's that. Could be a typo, too. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I think it was. But she, that's what she meant. That's what it is. Okay. okay. And she told us outward that's what it was, too. So. Well, this is something that I, I discuss a lot. Um, that... When you consent to having sex, unprotected, but either, either, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter but, 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 yeah, yeah. When you matter. consent to having sex, these are things that will come up. Yeah. It could have came. He didn't even have to know that he had it, and you could have got it from him, mm -hmm. and yeah, he didn't true. know. It just happens that he does know, mm -hmm. and didn't want to tell you because he didn't want that to interrupt mm. the thing. But sometimes we like to just put the whole anger on somebody else. But you do have to take some of the consequences to this action because we all, I don't know, and I don't know your living situation, so I can't say, but I have talked about it several times, even with my kids and my family and stuff like that. There's no 100%, no 100% cure or uh, safe sex mm -hmm. that you can have that's going to prevent you from having diseases or having, getting pregnant or any of those things. So all those things you have to take in consideration to when you're having sex that this might happen. But you're risking something. And you're putting your risk in it. You're playing Russian roulette. Mm. And I know people get mad. Well, he should have told me. And he, you are absolutely right. He should have. But a lot of people feel like he does. If I tell you, I'm not going to get any. Mm. And I don't want to die not getting any. <laughs> not saying it's right. That's just their mindset. Mm. I, you know, my thing is, if you now, you're going to feel more obligated to stay with him because you have it. Right. Yeah. So it does a lot of stuff. Everybody has their own mindset of what it does. And this is why it's so important to get tested before you have sex. Mm -hmm. I don't know, back in the day, it was like that was the thing to do. Mm -hmm. You get tested before you have sex right. to make sure you're not getting no disease. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, there's no disease, not even before you get married. No. Back in the day, you have to you get tested before you, before get before you can get married. Yeah, but they, you, they don't do it anymore because nobody cares. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I feel bad for your situation. And I hate that you're going through what you're going through. Mm -hmm. But in the end, and I don't want to be seem like I'm attacking you, but you have to take some. You're putting all your anger on him. When some of that anger is on, it's fifty percent your responsibility as well. Because well, the problem to. is, it's not. Yeah, and I, I think that she probably she knows that too. But the uh, what I think she's wondering is why is he trying? Why is he pulling? Pulling, he's not he's not doting on her like he was prior. to Oh, because he don't want to take care of the kid and he want to be able to. No, that's not. Would, no, I, I really think because one, he's forty two. So my thought when before the HSV came mm -hmm. up uh, is he was gonna say I can't have babies. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you're forty two. But it's like the moment he told her, is the moment he changed. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The reason why. Okay. You mean the moment he told her that he had it? Or? I just, no, no, no. The, and the reason why he's pulling away, is I don't think it's um, with regards to the father. And he knows that you're in that precarious position. You can't go. 
Yeah. He can't go nowhere. Yeah. And he knows that. He, he knows what you're thinking that way. You can't know what, nowhere. He, he don't have to. Don't have because, to yeah, because you, he you're stuck. He yeah, he, you, you're stuck. What yeah. are you going to do? Yeah. You know, if, uh, and so now the way you were acting, now you're, you're, you're acting a little bit different because you are in that predicament. Mm-hmm. So, he, you know, he's like, well, it's because we're you know, still young yet. I know, but where are you? I, I need you. I, I agree with what you're saying, but I still think he probably have other kids out there. He's 42. This is this is not his first person he gave HSV to. This is not going to be his last person he gives HSV to. And you're not gonna tell me she was the only one out of no. everybody no. that got pregnant. Mm-hmm. So he he's done that. And this is his way to distance off. You pretty soon you're gonna get so mad that you don't want to ever see him again, mm-hmm. and that's his way to do it. Yeah. And we believe everything that somebody, somebody says, says somebody about said. that. But I I have a brother that. He got kids everywhere. Everywhere he go, he got a child. Just like, just look. I talked to one of the baby mamas now, and that was his wife at the time. All the time, man. And he did. And I see his reaction. He's sweet, kind. He listens to the whole conversation. I mean, you know, he is really listening and, and responding and having great communication with these females. So they just fall madly in love. And then he'll come and bring them over to the house. And then he's like, right before they come in, he's all standing off and stressed. Why? My, my baby mom won't let me see my kids. Oh, no. I just want to be alone. Oh, no. So then they come in the house and he's not talking to her. He snaps at her. He calls her BQX. But all she remembers is he was this wonderful man. But this baby mama does not let him see his kid and not understand why he's angry. And I see him do it all the time. I'm like this. It took me a second to see it. I'm like, dang. Oh, this is an act. Because in the beginning, I didn't see it. But girls was giving him a car. He had no driver's license. Girl <laughs> buy him a car. Did this. I'm just watching all these women do that. Because we're so emotional. Yeah. We just like stay like glue. Like, yeah. I don't want to let you go yeah. if you have something that's really real and mm-hmm. really good. Mm-hmm. And a man plays on that. Mm-hmm. And he knew, oh, she ain't going to leave me because of AJ. Like, you didn't even get mad. Yeah. And, and he didn't tell you. Yeah. You was like... He was expecting me to yell and scream, and I didn't. Because once you didn't yell and scream, he knew he had you. Mm. He knew he had you, right? Well, she probably felt that way, too, because she was pregnant. So she said, and then in her mind, she's thinking, I'm having his first child. And that's what she's holding on to. This is his first child, and that's what she's holding on to. And he knows that. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, as women, you have to start standing your ground. And then, for I don't care if you're a man or a woman. When you're having sex and you didn't get tested, you are 50% going to get a disease or something else. Because you're we learned, and forward. not only that, we learned this in high school. So even if your parents didn't talk to you and your stuff, you learned it in either in grade school or high school. When you sleep with Sally, you sleep with everybody Sally slept with. You sleep with Joe, you sleep with everybody Joe slept with. So you sleep with one person, but actually you slept with a hundred. Mm-hmm. And remember, we was I was saying that how we recently found out that they had been doing uh, just just some college students just accidentally found out that they did like autopsies on these women that passed away, and every man the semen of every man is in the woman, of every man they've ever been with, it never goes away. It was in it's so they did like autopsies probably about four they were, they were doing something totally different they found out so every man that a woman has up with that that. Man's DNA is in that woman. Oh, right, the Bible says Entire whoever you sex life. with is who you married to. Yeah. So Entire life. then you never really get rid of the person. Mm-hmm. So those are things to think about. Mm-hmm. Because right now you're in a situation there's nothing you can do, but I would stand my ground mm-hmm. and I would not hold on to him just mm-hmm. because so he gave that, you yeah, anti yeah, HSV mm-hmm. and thinking that nobody else wants you. Mm-hmm. That's because not that's not reality yeah, either. Not and true. don't be like him and try to sneak somebody in and be a friend about it and how it would before you have sex be like, okay. We need to talk, we need to get tested, but I'm going to let you know I have HSV, blah, 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 and be open about it. Mm-hmm. Because more people are more understanding than what you think. Mm-hmm. Just don't do the same thing he did to you, to somebody else, mm-hmm. and don't think you have to stay with him because you have it either. Mm-hmm. That's the best advice I can give you, mm-hmm. but then don't put the whole blame on him mm-hmm. either. And, mm-hmm. and, and when you had it, he's like, he's a serial 
uh, carrier. Yes. So when I, yeah, I put the blame on him. No. Well, I mean, he didn't get No, 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 I agree. They went three saying, months, I mean, and I'm not saying that was But just, my name, you went like three months. Law, just like your brother-in-law, he's enticing. I mean, yeah. yeah. yeah so this but you still, yeah. Are, like, even though you still know the rules, and we so, oh, this is the millennial, this is this, yeah. it's different. If your life is important to you, get yourself checked. That's because true. right now, people are in relationship with HIV, yeah. AIDS, yeah. and everything. And people so are not, and they don't even care about it. Yeah. And nobody cares that they're getting diseases. Mm -hmm. But then when when somebody does care, it's like, but I'm carrying his first child. And that is murder. You know yeah. what I mean? Even though... HSV ain't murder, yeah. but that's murder yeah. to be able to me is murder because you like gave me a death sentence that I didn't want. Mm -hmm. Not saying I'm gonna die, but it's mm -hmm. like you can't get rid of herpes. They, no. they don't have a, cur a no, cure for herpes. No, so so you. you've done trapped me. You just but then, you said I was clean before you gave me yeah. something. I was but clean. my thing is, you if you was this. clean before, then you should have been the one to say, really let's true. get tested. Yeah. A lot of people don't do that, no. No, they don't. And, and don't that's mean, why I'm yeah, saying it's 50% it's it's yeah, yeah. your it's, it's responsibility. A it's a moon kill. <laughs> <laughs> but she made him wait three months. So why in that three months you couldn't have got tested? Yeah. Yeah, and or in, and make sure or even just make sure she was using protection the whole time. Well, protection doesn't stop. It doesn't fine. stop her yeah. That's yeah. that's hair on hair contact. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it depends, it's I guess. Skin. So, yeah. That don't have nothing to do with seeing. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't have sex with her. You just, you know, she could have touched this man. Yeah, that's true. She could have jacked him off. Yeah, yeah. It, it don't matter what it is. Yeah, so, my thing is, you have to, and this is for everybody, you guys have to get protected. You have to, not get protected, you have to go get tested. Because condoms ain't 100%. Yeah, that's true. It is not 100%, so you got to understand that. And I don't want to make it seem like I'm attacking you. I'm not. I'm just saying. You have to take blame. I don't care how smooth mm. and charismatic he mm -hmm. is. You have to take all the responsibility. Mm -hmm. This is your body. Mm -hmm. And that's how I, my mom always told me my body is a jewel. Mm -hmm. So I have to respect it as a jewel. Nobody you. else is not going to do it. Nobody else is going to respect your jewel as mm -hmm. much as you are. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, and so if you're not respecting it, why does anybody else have to respect it? And I don't understand why we hold accountability that he needs to respect your jewel more than you do. Yeah, because at the end of the day, that's what, we're, what we always talk about is loving ourselves and things like that. And so that is one of the things is how we talk about self-care and things mm -hmm. like that, making sure that those things. Because a lot of times people, people just live life and they just... They don't even, they're just this free willing, doing whatever, and not thinking of any of the precautions, the uh, consequences of anything that they're doing. And you are saying, oh, I like older men, and this and that. Okay, well, because he's older, that means he's more experienced. He doesn't have a lot of, probably a lot of sex. And, you know, you, you're young. That's why you're And now you're going to sit here and got something that's going to affect you the whole, right, I mean, the whole rest of your life. And because you was like an older man and this and that. And you thought he had a, you know, he's attractive, he charismatic, all this. And that's when it came with a price. Big time. So now you having this kid. But it, it's not the end of the world or anything like that. And I'm not saying, even with HIV, they have drugs to where even now you can take it and it's undetectable. But you just have, that's just something you have to do. You have to ch change your life and just uh, make sure you have medications and things like that. You have to, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you have to do. But... It's it's just part of your life, but it's not it ain't no death. The part that she just heard that him. he didn't tell her well, up right. front, and I get that. And a lot of people don't and do he's it. Very but, wrong for that. There's and I agree people with you. He is very that. very very wrong yeah. for doing that. Mm -hmm. Regardless, he is. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, mm -hmm. it's your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I, and, and we can all get that in the mind that. Mm -hmm. Women, we control it. Now, if he raped you, that's a totally different thing. Right. He didn't. It was a consent. Mm -hmm. And he sh chose to be a child mm -hmm. and not disclose that information to you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, what did you do to prevent your jewel from mm -hmm. being damaged? Mm -hmm. That's true. And, sorry. Yeah, it's not, but it's not. That's all she just needs to do, though, to adjust. It, it, that, that's the hard part about it is because she is so young and it's like, oh, I got this. But it's really not. 
A lot of times people feel like, oh gosh, this is horrible. This is <coughs> not the end of the world. It will take time. Now, you, if you, because some, it is traumatic. So if you have to get you some counseling or whatever to get you through what you need to go, because you're hormone already, you're hormone because you had babies and this and that. So it, emotions is all over the place. <coughs> so you got to get all that stuff um, taken care of. Um, but so if you need to get some counseling or whatever, then do that too. But it just like anything, it it will pass and it, you'll be fine. It's just. <coughs> You know, you, you this is a big old life lesson. Them. It's all right too. You can leave them. She did. They they're not together. They just go parenting. <coughs> okay, well yeah, then you're not. fine. And yeah. yeah, ain't calling you daddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let's just say the girl. Is that the guy that she? I didn't think she left him, but she. No, it is. It, it tells you in the beginning that they they're co-parenting. She was done. She told you the whole story, but she's telling you that they've just been co-parenting. No, she no. Is that? I thought she. She co-parenting with her six-year-old. Yeah, you are. Right, you are. Right, and then right, and right. she met that forty-year-old right. okay, yeah. one, and then, then you she got. Right. Yeah. Well, then after yeah, then yeah, you need. Yeah, like you leave them alone. Don't think that you can't find somebody else. Because you can. Because you have herpes. Yeah, you can. You can't can find can. somebody else, and you, and you'll find a great person. Just remember, your, your jewel does not need to be tarnished. Let's go fix the scar mm -hmm. jewel mm -hmm. and keep it kicking. Mm -hmm. Don't don't stay with him. Hoping that he's gonna change and he's that old and he ain't gonna change. That's it. Part of your pillow talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we help somebody out there, you guys. Thank you so much for listening to us, and we will see you next time right here on the Talk It Out Show. Okay, you guys, we're leaving. That was our 15 minute one for our radio show. Yes. So when we do Twitter, just you know, mm -hmm. when I do my editing, so. Just thank you again for watching us. Please um, hit subscribe, the like, like button, the little bell that tells you when we pop up. Yep, to follow us. Yes. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Enjoy it, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful weekend ahead of us. And happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.